animal in captivity. Both he and Corky each consume 250 pounds of fish a day. Are they difficult to train? I'd have to say they're very easy to train. Uh, probably the easiest of all the animals I've worked with here at the park because they're so intelligent. Uh, we've left behaviors out for a year and we've given them command and they've remembered the behavior. But of course, if you're doing the behavior every day, then it's really difficult for them not to retain it because they do it in and out, in and out every day. But the, the true test of that is to just leave something out for a year. Then all of a sudden, a year later, give them a command, see if they remember it. We've done that and the whales remember. As beautiful as they are and the way they respond and everything else, one can help get the feeling if if they mind being cooped up, I mean, just confined to just one general area? That's a hard question to answer. It really is. I look at it in the way that being as intelligent as they are, it's my responsibility and the people's responsibility that are here with them to give them the stimulation, you know, both mentally and physically, give them everything that they are missing from being in the wild. You know, and by that I mean, you know, playing games with them, you know, patting them and rubbing them, working them, and, and even the training. To me, that makes it okay. Okay, Inez, you ready to go? Well, we'll find out soon enough. All right, right through the gate. Okay. And of course, oh. right down the stairs. And we'll get our payroll. That's a lot of food. Okay, it's 250 pounds of fish a day. Okay. Now, we're going to start by having you give them a the fish. Okay. Great. Now, that sets up a relationship between you and Orkey. He likes anybody who gives him fish. And I think he wants to shake hands with you. So if you'll just step up and reach out, there's a big handshake for you. And again, Inez, if you'll kindly toss him a fish. Just anyone, right? <laughs> Anyone will do, and he is happy. Now, I think we've got something special coming up. There you go. There you go. Come on, Come on, Come on. That's it. Oh. <laughs> we like to leave people with the idea that they're animals just as intelligent and just as sensitive out in the wild, and those are the animals that people are slaughtering to have them turned into things like cosmetics, shoe polish, dog okay. food, perfume, things that can be synthetically made. And if things like that go on, there aren't gonna be animals like this left.